Hi guys, it's Ola here with a new video. A few weeks ago, I posted a video where I talked about my experiences at university and I told you my whole story, how I moved abroad to university and I gave you some tips about that. So if you're more interested in that, then check the video. I'll link it up here and also in the description. But today I wanted to tell you more about schools that I attended before. So starting from kindergarten up to high school, I'm gonna tell you about all of my experiences, about accessibility needs that I had and if they were met and about anything that comes to my mind that could be useful for you and that could maybe help you make a decision if your child should go to special needs school or regular school. So I hope it's at least somehow useful and let's get on with it. So at the very beginning I should probably mention that I went to schools in Poland so the education system might be a bit different if you are in the United States or in UK so that's why I'm gonna also tell you how old I was when I was in each of the schools also remember that for example I went to kindergarten about 15 years ago or something like that so it's been a long time ago so everything might have changed and maybe accessibility is much better right now or maybe it's not maybe it's worse I have no idea because it may also differ depending on which country you're in but I just wanted to tell you about things that you should maybe pay attention when either you're at school or your or your child is going to school so that you maybe could discuss with the school before your child goes there you can maybe discuss what accessibility they're gonna need and if the school is going to be able to meet them so first of all, before I went to kindergarten, primary school and middle school, my parents went to the schools before I applied there to, like I said, ask if it's gonna be possible to make my education more accessible and if they're just gonna be fine with a disabled kid going to their school because I never went to any special needs school. In primary school I attended a special needs class because in Poland you have each subject with the same group of people and I went to a special needs class so I only had 18 people in my class and I had like an extra teacher that went with us to every single class so that she could help us and so that she could support us in our studying, in our education because of course the leading teacher of each subject wasn't able to pay attention to all of us and help us and some kids in my class had problems with reading, some had, pro some had problems with writing, some had dyslexia and other and other problems like that so we all had different kinds of problems so that's why we needed this extra teacher to help us and support us throughout our primary school so now starting from the beginning I went to kindergarten when I was three years old and I left kindergarten when I was seven years old if you watched my video where I described my whole story and my journey with my disability which I'll also link up here I said there that during kindergarten I had a lot of physio I had a lot of exercises so I didn't attend kindergarten like for the whole day because my kindergarten was just on the other street from my grandma's house so I was only usually going there until like 12 or 1 p.m. and then they were taking me to physio or to doctor's appointments so I only went there for like half a day I really loved kindergarten so I always wanted to stay there for longer but that's how it worked so as far as I remember of course it was a long time ago because I'm 21 right now and I finished kindergarten when I was seven but I remember that I was treated equally and normally to other kids in kindergarten so I was always able to play with everyone I had the same class classes as everyone even when we had like some sport classes I always attended those even when I went to playground I always was able to go with them I never was blocked by teachers or my parents that I wasn't able to do something or that I couldn't do something because they were worried about me they were always letting me go with all of the kids and of course I had some problems like on playground or something like that but all of the kids were always so nice and so helpful even though they were like three four or five years old I remember them being just very kind and always accepting of me and always wanting to play with me of course I do remember some situations when kids were a bit mean but maybe it was like twice or three times during this what four years of kindergarten and of course kids are so young then that it's normal that sometimes they do some stupid things right but other than that I remember 
everyone being super nice, super helpful, all the teachers were also super helpful and of course I was very young there and I still wasn't able to do so many things so I needed help from my teachers when I went to bathroom or when I was eating or they had to help me put on my clothes when we had like a sleeping time with other kids or when we were going outside in the winter so of course I needed help but I don't know how it is in other countries but in Poland in each kindergarten group you always have two teachers to curse so even though they had a lot of kids I'm not sure probably like 20 or 25 kids in the group they were always able to help me and they were always able to pay a little bit more attention to me if I needed some help or not. So I went to primary school when I was seven and I finished it when I was 13. And like I mentioned before, I went to school that was regular school, but I went to special needs class. So I spent six years with other kids with disabilities or learning difficulties and with an extra teacher who helped all of us. So all of our trips or all of our classes and lessons and PE was all accessible for all of us so I always felt supported and never felt like I don't fit in with other kids. I remember that all of my classes like I said were accessible to each and every child so for example I had more time during my exams or during my tests and I had more time to write down any notes and of course there were some situations that weren't so good and I remember my grandma having to come to my school to help me and even other kids during some art classes because our teacher just didn't want to help any of us and we just weren't able to do anything so of course there were situations like that but other than that I remember my primary school being very accessible and all the teachers being very helpful and when I was in primary school I still needed some help with putting clothes on and I don't think I've ever used help of my teachers maybe in the first one or two years but later I remember my friends just going to the bathroom with me and helping me there so of course I had to just meet good people on my way and my friends were the same age as me so we were all still kids but I just remember them helping me so if your child is going to primary school or is going to any school that is kind of in this similar age and they still are going to need help with some things then they're just gonna need to either ask teachers for help or their friends and I was always told by my parents that I shouldn't be ashamed, I shouldn't feel ashamed of asking for help anyone so I never did really, I, it was always so normal for me to ask for help and I think it's a good thing to learn because when you're disabled you kind of need help in different situations Sorry, my camera died. But well, anyway, what I wanted to say is that of course your disabled kid is going to need help when they're in school, but it doesn't mean that they have to go to a special school, special needs school. I'm not saying that special needs schools are wars or anything like that, but I'm just saying that if they're private and you don't have enough money to pay for that, or if you just want your kid to be in the regular school, in the environment when they can interact with able-bodied with able -bodied people, then I believe that in each school they're gonna find friends or teachers who are gonna help them in every situation because everywhere there are good people who want to help you and who want to be friends with you. And of course I know that there are situations when disabled kids go to school and everyone just bullies them and I know it happens but don't worry before it happens is what I want to say I think. just. Don't prepare your child that when they go to school they're gonna be bullied or just prepare them in a way that they know that they can ask anyone for help because that's just gonna help them later in their life when they know that they shouldn't be afraid of people and shouldn't be afraid of people just telling no when they are asking for help because believe me that maybe it's only my experience but I don't think I've ever met anyone who told me no when I asked them to help me. So summarizing, when I was in primary school I really needed a lot of help and a lot of accessibility and most of that was met and I didn't really have any problems. Even during school trips I was always going to school trips without my parents. Some of the kids were going with their parents because it was possible like that but I was always going without my parents. Just my friends were helping me get dressed or do anything really with my hair or in the bathroom so I always had to rely on someone else's help but it was 
fine I guess and I've met really great friends who I still have contact with till now. So in Poland we also have middle school and we go there when we're 13 years old and we leave it when we are 16 and of course I was already a bit older so I didn't need as much help as I needed in primary school. I didn't go to like special needs class or anything like that. I went to regular class in a reg regular school so I still needed some help from my friends so other students used to help me for example when I was changing for PE or during school trips they I remember them helping me with my bra because that was something that I still needed help or with my hair so they were still helping me but they weren't helping me with as many things as other kids in primary school and of course I still needed some accessibility during the classes and during my studying so it wasn't met as well as in primary school because some teachers just weren't as kind and as helpful as those in the previous school but I remember them still trying to help me and I just remember the biggest issue being with the time because I didn't have enough time to write my test or teachers were saying or writing things too quickly and I wasn't able to note everything down so I had issues with that and I would advise everyone if, if you're going to school or your kid is going to school then I would advise you to really discuss with of the teachers and the headmaster of the school what you or your child needs and what accessibility they need so that all the teachers know and yes all of my teachers knew what I need but some of them just had worse days sometimes and they were saying that they need a break as well so I wasn't able to stay in the classroom during the break to finish my test so I was getting worse grades because I wasn't able to finish the test because I was writing too slowly so there were situations like that but I believe it can be solved when you just talk to your teachers and that should be fine and of course I needed a document from doctor saying that I can't write too fast that I need some more time during PE or something like that so of course I needed this document I don't know how it works in other countries but in Poland I had to prove that I in fact am disabled even though I look disabled I still had to prove that my disability impacts my studying and anything at school because without this document even if they've seen that I'm writing slower they still couldn't make things more accessible for me so I think that in all of my schools the subject that I had most problems with was of course PE because I can't do most of the sports but in each of the school from kindergarten to high school I always attended PE and I've always had all the tests they were just kind of accessible for me and all the teachers were just asking me what I can and cannot do so that they could make another test for me and I was still getting grades like other kids and I was still playing with everyone all of the games like if they were playing volleyball and I can't play real volleyball then I was just playing catch and throw so it was always made as accessible for me but I also believe that it depends on the teacher because when we had classes with teachers who didn't know me then they weren't as happy to make things as accessible for me as teachers who were my regular teachers so I also believe that it just depends on the person and if you discuss with them and if you tell them truthfully what you can do and what you cannot do because I think that especially with PE your teachers are just gonna be very glad that you want to attend their classes and that you are willing to do everything that other students do just in your own way so if you show them that you want to do that then I think that they should be happy to make it easier for you so I started my high school when I was 16 years old and I finished it when I was 19 so two years ago and again I was older so I didn't need as much help as I did in primary school and middle school so I still think I needed some help from my friends with some less important stuff or during school trips but as I was already traveling on my own when I was in high school I didn't need as much help because I was already used to being on my own and being independent so I didn't need as much help from friends or teachers with things at school but that weren't connected to anything at school I still had my PE accessible and I really liked it, I really enjoyed that, I had a really good teacher. The problem though was with all of the other subjects, or at least most of them, I had a few really nice and kind teachers who were always happy to give me some more time during tests because they knew that I can't write so fast, but I had a few teachers that 
just didn't want to make anything accessible for me. And what's important is that my most important finals at the very end of high school were very accessible. I had half of the time extra that other students had. So if other students had three hours, then I had four and a half to write the exam. I remember that I also had a bit of a problem with school trips because even though I was already independent and I was able to do most of the things, the school trips were just difficult for me physically because we were, for example, going skiing or we were going to another cities and walking for so long that it was just too long for me. And my teachers knew that I can't walk for such a long time, but it was kind of difficult to let me stay in one place or just let me stay in a hotel because I also didn't want to stay in a hotel for the whole time when my other friends were walking around the city and, and just sightseeing. So it was difficult but I was always with everyone. So that's another thing that you should probably pay attention to and it's school trips because I think that school trips are very important when you're a child, when you're going to school because you just have some extra time with your friends. So if your kid is disabled and they want to go to the school trip, I would let them go if I were you because I know that my parents were worried about me as well but they were always letting me go because they knew that I'm just gonna be okay because they knew that I have good teachers and good friends okay so that's gonna be it if you have any other um, questions then please do ask me in the comments or message me on my social media which I'm gonna show you right here I have Instagram and Twitter I'm not too active on them and I'm gonna try to be but you can always DM me I always I always check all of my DMs so thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video if you have any other ideas for next videos and please let me know in the comments or again in DMs on Instagram or Twitter I would love to film something that you might find helpful so if you enjoyed this video then please leave a like button and subscribe to my channel and thank you so much for watching I'll see you next time and next time is on Thursday I believe thank you so much bye